What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome back. This is my boy again, Adam Slink. And uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. So uh, let's have a discussion on uh, some issues that were trending yesterday. And that is about Pastor Suleiman that uh, escaped assassination. But unfortunately, seven officers died. A lot of controversial statements have uh, come in to the old picture. And that the DPO ROG the man, the DPO, has been arrested because there was a video that shows when he shot the only suspect. There's a video on Twitter that shows, but the video has been deleted. I don't have it. When he shot the only suspect, and because of that, the police are not happy and they are suspecting foul play. They are suspecting foul play. They are suspecting, I don't want to say, like, the investigation is still going on. So, and Pastor Suleiman also accused the police of covering up. Because they arrested the suspect, handed that suspect over to you. Instead of you to do an investigation, you shot the only suspect. The only lead you have, you shot it. Just to, uh, just to, I don't know, if it's just to cover up some traces, we don't know if the DPO's hand is in it or some officer's hand are in it. So now, because of the statement uh, Pastor Suleiman made while he was addressing the public, because of the statement he made, and not just that, because he said he's a man of God and nobody can kill him, well, uh, let me read you what Reverend Father Kelvin Ugoa said. He said, I have always said it here. When giving testimony, be sensitive. Don't use other people's misfortune to evaluate your own story. In, in their bid to assassinate you, seven persons were killed. And you are like, my life is in the hand of God. Nobody can kill me. Well, I will not thank God that you survived the assassination. I will rather thank God that you admitted to knowing those that were behind the assassination and shooting. I call on the police and the government to take it up from there. The lives of those seven persons matter so much. The minister's life is not more valuable than theirs. A full investigation should be opened immediately until those behind the shooting are arrested and given what they deserve by law. And for those working closely with the minister, I will advise you take necessary precaution because it seems he knows something that are capable of putting you at risk, which you may not be aware of. Listen to that last paragraph. Listen very well. And for those working closely with the minister, Pastor Suleiman, I will advise you to take necessary precaution because it seems he knows something that are capable of putting you at risk, which you may not be aware of. After all, the minister was in a protected car, a hammered car, a bulletproof car. Meanwhile, the people we are accompanying him, we are just in an ordinary car. And they are the victims. And they are the victims. So, if you are working with a minister, please, such ministers, find a way to protect yourself. Because God not going to protect you Find a way to protect yourself because that minister will not pray for your own protection. Then uh, we see our other stories that are coming up, and there is this particular uh, there, there is this particular officer, his name is Shay. He also says something about Pastor Suleiman. Shay Peter Alfred, he said, 
Any of you still calling Suleiman a man of God? With all the things you saw and heard him saying, your case had gone from bad to worse. I must block all of you anywhere I see you on Facebook. Not too long ago, before I left Bini, my Mopo had the one providing security for Suleiman. You know and saw, we know and saw a lot of things. Your, your Mumu followers coming to type George Nod on social media. Those officers who died while following this evil man just died for nothing. And I only them pain me back because the other people and that lady shot dead at the back of the luxury, uh, at the back of the illos, know so much about the atrocities of this man. They are in it together. No, be God save me. What if this sacrifice he made happened when my boys are still with him? Now, wahala for Dale. Now the answer query. Bulletproof car is good for himself and his family. The rest people are not human enough to use bulletproof car. Because he knows his hands are not clean. By that video he made, it is, it is evidential clear that he has a deal with someone who wants him dead. But said he is not going to mention their names. Because he knew that he, if he mentioned their names and they are arrested, his secret will come out. That's why he said he won't mention their names. But you must mention them, Sule boy. Our officers cannot die just like that. If they had killed his wife and five children in that incident as they killed our officer, will the, will the idiot come to say he will not mention their names? He even said the one shooting and killing people, he knows him, but will not kill him. Karma will cut up with him. Just imagine. The life of those who died are useless. So far, you and your family are okay. Each time I watch that video, I feel like tearing him apart if I could. I am so hungry right now. I couldn't sleep since yesterday. I was just thinking, what if now my boys? Honestly, make we just talk ourselves through. That video made Pastor Suleiman make you know make him well at all. He made that video boasting in that video. He boasting happy for himself and his family. But what about the life of the police officer? What about the life of the of the of the lady that lost it, lost her life and the and the other people, Abba, he just make the video like see naughty. However, Pastor Suleiman responded to this man. He said, "This is an acclaimed police officer called Sheil Peter Alfred. He made a post on Facebook that has gone viral. That he used to give me mobile police and I used them for ritual. I have never met him in my life or dream." He said, "The girl that dies." that died goes to place for places for me. He claimed that the girl was shot was one of those we do have work together. That girl was just 15 years old. If all you are saying is true, may God bless you. But if not, may you be disgraced. I don't reply people, but this is a supposed officer of the law lying like Satan. I have reported him to the Inspector General and appropriate quarters. He that alleged must prove. I think it's time I start speaking out because silence is considered consent. I will address many lies that have gone on for years with proof and people will be shocked. Well, I think this is what a lot of people are waiting for, for Pastor Suleiman to be responded to some, some people like uh, Alima Abubakar, and other people as well who are saying, who are bringing some sexual allegations and other allegations. But that video may you make it, you know, make it well. Hmm? If we make that video, it shows sympathy towards those people that died. I don't understand. 
Man of God, they use the bulletproof. <laughs> the man, <laughs> okay, yo. I have nothing to say, yo. And uh, meanwhile, we still have a Dami Gray versus David O uh, issue to address. But also, there's this footballer's wife, a Galo wife, who said, Nigeria are wicked. This man was in the car with his family. Several people lost their life. You're jubilating. Where is the humanity for Christ's sake? Are we not encouraging assassination? Nobody is talking of why is he being uh, uh, pursued. You're more concerned that he's a man of God moving like escort, bulletproof car. Trump was right anyway. Nigeria is a shit old country. Don't come to my DM, please. Keep your opinion to yourself. I can be very rude. May their soul and the soul of the faithful depart uh, departed through the mercy of God, R.I.P. So he said, uh, she said, people are jubilating about Pastor Suleiman. We are much more concerned. I, I think I, I am much more concerned about those people that lost their life. And that video he made. You know? May they so rest in peace, guys. It's not, it's not easy. All those people are people's uh, relative. They, they will never see them again. They will never see them again. And again, now, to end this video, let's talk about uh, Dami Gray and David O. Dami Gray is complaining that David O is owing him money over his song. That David O should pay him. David O has not responded. But however, Dami Gray said some David O's boys are going after his life. He even posted a video recently. He said... Surveillance footage of AB Kuse 30 BG trying to break into my house. I fear no one but Jah. In case you don't know, there's a government. It shows a guy, a man trying to break into his house, and they said it was at one of a 30 BG gang that was trying to break into his house. <laughs> so, and honestly, I don't see. How the video will get that chance till they follow Dami Gray. Not just that, someone asked a question. He said, David Doe and Whiskey, who is bigger? Asked Dami Gray the question. Dami Gray immediately replied, Stop playing with big Whiskey. I think if you have asked Dami Gray this question while he was really, really good with David Doe, I bet you Dami Gray would tell you, say, David Doe, I be the biggest artist maybe will ever come outside from Nigeria. That is just how it is. That is just how it is. But for me, eh, I don't think say David Doe will get that chance eh, until they follow Dami Gray, you know, honestly. I don't think so. I honestly do not think so. But be well, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's your boy, Gia Adam Sling. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Peace.